Marcus Bogdan from Blackmore Capital joins us live now to talk a bit more about how to ride through these times of volatility, I suppose. Marcus, great to have you with us this morning. Talk us through how your funds are sort of positioned at the moment in volatile markets that we're seeing. Sure. Good morning. Uh, good to be here. Um, so we've expected um, a rise in volatility for some time. Um, we positioned the, the portfolios earlier this, this year. Uh, we had elevated levels of, of cash um, running near our, our capacity levels. Uh, and we've progressively moved um, to companies which have got characteristics of greater earnings certainty, very strong positions in their in industry sectors. And so sectors like um, consumer staples, wa uh, the waste industry, um, and also the healthcare um, have been areas that we've also um, been positioning. We've also been um, looking at, at, at value and, and deep and deep value, uh, and and so having the protection of value as a margin of safety for the companies that we're investing in. Um, balance, street, uh, balance sheet strength is also incredibly important as we're entering a sort of the late cycle stage of, of asset appre appreciation. Uh, so they're sort of the, the sort of the key broad elements in the way that we've positioned the portfolio to, to, to give us um, some protection to the heightened level of, of vol volatility. So Marcus, your view on volatility is that it is to be avoided, that it's to be, to be mitigated? Because I know there are other views that where volatility can be seen as an, an opportunity if that volatility lends itself to being able to discern some sort of a trend from it in yeah. markets. Yeah, yeah, sh um, sh sure. I mean, the, the sort of the, the funda fundamental premise of our portfolios is that, that the portfolios exhibit characteristics that, that, are, that exhibit lower volatility than the overall market and a lower investment drawdown. Not, notwithstanding that, we do see volatility in terms of providing us opportunity to, to get set into, into companies where we think the, overrea uh, the reaction has been overdone. Uh, mm. And so it does provide us opportunities at certain points of time, but broadly um, we do position our, our portfolio uh, to be less volatile than the market, and we do that through the quality of the companies that we, that we own. Hi, Marcus. It's Nathan from Blue Ocean Equities. Um, Good morning. As you said, it, it is all about the timing of things. I mean, volatility can be your friend if you think the markets have got back to certain valuation levels where you are comfortable in a particular stock or sector, for example. Sure. Yeah. Um, do you, um, are you looking at different sectors and different areas of the market where, and are you finding areas where you think volatility can be your friend in the current environment or do you see substantial risk in most of the areas? Well, I think there's definitely systemic risk in the markets and you're seeing that with a broad, a broad sell-off. But we also are looking at particular sectors that are, are generally more stable and they've got greater um, earnings visibility. Uh, and so consumer staples is, is a very good example of that. And so currently the portfolios are overweight consumer staples. Uh, we've got a large position in Woolworths, um, a smaller position in Coles that has been demerged from, from, from West Farmers. Uh, and those businesses exhibit greater consistency in their, in their performance. So that's one way that, uh, that uh, we've avoided volatility. We do have um, um, focus on also some cyclical companies where there is inherently greater volatility. But in, that, in choosing those types of companies, we're really looking at the valuation of those companies, the margin of safety, where they are in, in the cycle, uh, and trying to position ourselves there. And also, um, incredibly important in those cyclical companies is that they have strong, robust balance sheets so that they can invest counter-cyclically um, through the cycle. Marcus, t looking at some of those, those companies uh, and the reasons why you, you prefer them, um, you know, one of which being the, the ability to see lesser levels of volatility. Yeah. Uh, is there a worry that you're going to struggle to outperform because a lot of people in the market in this sort of uh, environment are going to be thinking exactly the same thing? You know, the idea that I, I imagine obviously it's going to come down to price paid, but if yeah. everyone's thinking the same thing, how you generate that alpha? Sure. I, I think that's a, an incredibly important point. Um, and what I would say to that is that we, we do offer a 
broad spectrum in our portfolio in terms of we are looking at different sources of return, different sources of, of risk. And so currently we are weighted more heavily to, the, to those sectors like consumer, consumer staples, waste management, which are inherently less, vo less volatile businesses. Um, but we've also got exposure to a range of cyclical companies, in particular BHP is a strong weighting in the, in the portfolio. Uh, and we're comfortable with that given, given where commodity prices are, where BHP is positioned in their particular, particular markets and the strength of their balance sheet and their ability to return capital. So it is a, a broad church approach, but mm. then we overweight and underweight particular sectors depending on our current views. All right, Marcus Bogdan from Blackmore Capital. Do appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you.